In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 leg exercises everyone should do to reduce the risk of injury. Many of us have experienced the frustration of getting injured through exercise. It can put our training weeks or even months behind. I've been running for about 10 years now, and in that time, I've been injured so many times, namely to my knees and my calves. One thing that I fail to do, like many of us fail to do, is actually strengthen our legs outside of running. I've worked with a number of physios that have helped me stay injury free for the last two to three years. The following 10 exercises are the ones that I've embedded into my workouts every single week. Let me share these exercises with you and hopefully they help you stay injury free too. First up, squats. These are great because they work your glutes, your quads, your hamstrings and your calves, so all your major muscles. What you wanna do, cross your arms, keep them out in front, go down. Ideally, you wanna be going down past 90 degrees if you can. Sideways view. Notice how my knees are not tracking too far forward. So what you want to be doing is the idea your knee wants to be above your ankle, there shouldn't be too much movement there. So not this. Like this. Next up, single leg squats. The benefit of these over the double leg squat is that you're engaging your stabilising muscles more and it's a lot harder. Drop your foot onto a chair or something like a sofa and dip, like so. If that's too challenging, what you can do is uh, more of a split leg spot, squat. And build yourself up that way. To strengthen our adductors, which are these, and our outer glutes, side to side lunges. Dip as far down as you can, like so. I used to suffer from a lot of calf injuries and the way that I ultimately got over this was by strengthening my calves through calf raises. Ideally you don't want to be doing these on the floor, you want to get a full range of movement in your calf and your ankle. Like so. One thing to keep in mind is that what this exercise misses is your soleus muscle. And it's actually the soleus muscle that I struggled with quite a lot. A really great physio showed me how I can augment this exercise to engage that soleus muscle. All you need to do is actually bend that knee before you start raising. So where you see the first time I had a straight leg, now I've got a bent leg. And you should feel the burn in that soleus muscle, which is basically in a different place from the first time. Hamstring injuries are quite common, and glute weakness is actually a common cause for knee injury. What we can do are single leg back bridges, like so. So lie down on the floor, one leg up at an angle like this, and raise. And you should feel your hamstring and your glutes engage. One of the exercises that really helped me get over knee pain was actually wall sits. What these do is strengthen all the muscles that actually support your knee. All you need to do is find yourself a wall and get into a seated position. A fireplace is probably not the best bet. So all you do, lean back into the seated position, as close to 90 degrees as you can, and hold it. Try not to hold your knees because you don't want to give yourself any extra support. Keep your hands up here and hold it for as long as you can. One little tip is that if you keep on looking at your watch to see how long you've done, you're not going to be able to do it for very long. For some reason, looking at your watch just makes it harder. 
So sit here for as long as you can and you'll find that the more you do it, that obviously the more you're going to improve. Another exercise which works out your whole chain are step ups. The great thing about these is they get you moving dynamically and help with your mobility as well. So find yourself a chair, one foot onto the chair and launch up. And you'll see, I lift my knee as high as I can go. Some people just do it like this, but I find you get a lot more benefit if you kick right up. With any of my leg workouts, I like to get some explosive leg working in there as well. All the exercises that we've done so far have been reasonably static. Jumping squats are great for these. You can either do these straight on the ground or find yourself a box and do some box jumps. I actually use the bed sometimes, but that doesn't go down very well with the wife. Again, similar to the squat position, lean down, but this time you're jumping up as high as you can. And it's not so much like that. You want to engage your ankles and your feet and really get everything pushing you up. Another explosive exercise is the burpee. And this is so good for you. It works out your whole chain and it really will get your heart pumping. What you need to do, get yourself down onto the floor. The first move is to press up into a press up position launch your legs forward and then jump and try to do that in a smooth way like so if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up subscribe and click here to see my latest video cheers